Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining David and myself. Episode three of the editing collaboration. Another five images to go through, another good set of images. And thanks for sending them in guys. They're still trickling in, so keep sending them in and uh, we'll perhaps get to an episode four soon. But uh, could do with just a few more if you want to send some more in. But um, again, we've got the timer and this time I'm going to try to stay under three minutes. Failed miserably last time. But um, I've made up a few more actions, not quite as punchy, so that hopefully I'll get away with that. It's a bit different when you're at football or when you're at, when you're at whatever event you're at, you can make a, an action for that because you know that the images coming in are all gonna be consistent. So you can get away with an action, crop it and send. But with these, obviously they're all different tones, different colors, different, different venues, so it doesn't always work. So I've made one or two different actions and we'll see how we get on, try and speed up the process a bit. But um, it's always the same, when you're at a game, I mean, and I'm sending off the laptop, I can have an image sent off in 20 seconds, you know, because you've got the action ready, you've got the crop and away it goes. But a uh, lot more difficult on these. But uh, anyway, as you've seen, but try and keep it under three minutes, hopefully. And um, jobs are good then. So without further ado, let's crack on. Right, let's hit that stopwatch. Start. This first basketball image, it's from Paul Hendren. Thanks for sending it in, Paul. Right, what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna actually gonna set any constraints this time. I'm just gonna crop with what I think and pull it and drag it and see how we look. Now, I actually wanna leave a bit of this player in because I, I want to show an element of the fact that this basketball player is jinking about and is perhaps wrong-footed his opponent. So I might just leave him in. I don't know how it's going to look. Still want to try and get him pretty central. Let's just get that horizon sorted as well. I think, come on, let's get that horizon sorted. Let's just jink that around a bit. That's about there. Just want to be able to see a bit of that player. I think it's quite, let's have a look at that. Just so that it looks like, oh, he's wrong-footed him and he's going to run in between him. So I'm going to leave it at that. That'll do. Right, I've got an action. Let's have a look how that looks. Yeah, a bit too much. We'll do it manually. Right, so let's have a look at the levels. Just, I don't want to lose the whites in his. Give it a bit of colour on the balance. Cracky, one minute 16 already. Let's bring the whites out. That's looking all right. Bit of colour, perhaps. Get over there, Hugh. Nice, not too much. Let's go 20 on that. How we're looking at that? That looks okay. Might just give it a bit of. Let's just have a look. Ooh, any contrast? No, I don't really want any contrast really. Let's go straight to clarity. Obviously, it's indoors, so it's a little bit noisy anyway. Let's just take the highlights down, see if we can bring. It's a bit highlighted on his kit now. I think that's 15. Just here, I'm looking at this here, it's a bit burnt out here. But, mm, highlights. Yeah. Okay, that. Horizon. Is that a little bit off? No, I'm not happy with that. Yeah, I think, I think leaving this player in just shows you that the element of hey, oh, his, swap, his swap positions. Horizon looks okay. Don't really want to do too much sharpening because it's an indoor shot. We, as we know, indoor shots are always a bit grainy. Let's keep that 1.5. Or after, do my FN key just to get a bit of, yeah. I know there's a bit more space around here, but I like this player being in. Right, that'll do. Three minutes spot on, jobs are good. And Let's get that saved. Nice one. Jobs are good then. Over to you, David. Okay, let's get episode number three started. So this one was submitted by Paul Hendren. Thank you, Paul. So obviously basketball, it's a vertical sport. And luckily, we, I think we can still crop without going into that guy's armpit. Because I foresee Mark 
doing some uh, cheating to remove that guy's armpit. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I haven't seen his edits yet. So a little underexposed, so let's raise this a little bit. It's going to be a little bit noisy because, let's face it, we're cropping in quite a bit. So, yeah, it is going to be noisy. That's okay. We're probably going to have to raise that exposure a little bit after, but we'll see. For now, just playing with the normal editing, the whites, the blacks, shadows, etc. Just looking at the histogram too is always a good idea. Just so you see if you're clipping, if you're not. But overall, just looking at what you have in your screen should give you a pretty good idea if you're doing a good job, I think. At least that's how I like to edit. Just basically looking at the results that I'm getting, seeing if I like what I see or not. It is a little bit noisy. The white balance is a bit off too, it seems. Let's see if the eyedropper does a good job, because this should be white. Mm, not sure I like that, to be honest. Okay, yeah. What else? I don't think there's much we can do. There's no way I'm going to be able to... Hold on. Yeah, no. I don't know. What do you think? Should I keep him like this or like before? It's a good question, really. Because like this, I have the horizon straighten. The other way around, I don't know. Maybe I keep him like this. The thing with these crops is that they're so tight. You got to be careful. I think we can still give it a little bit more room there. Yeah, I think... I think this would be it. Let's see. Before and after. Without the crop. Yeah, I'd be pretty happy with that. Given the circumstances. Maybe just raise the exposure just a little bit. Yeah, I think my timing is good too, Mark. So that's my edit done. Now back to you, Mark. This next image is coming from Mariano. Thanks for sending this in, Mariano. Right, so let's have a go then. Let's go for the crop first. Uh, I think I'm going to go portrait ish with this one. Let's just get the ad board at the back leveled off. Something like that, I reckon. How's that looking? Obviously, this roof of the stand now looks off, but oh, it's a difficult one. This. Let's just take that in a bit. See if we can lose, lose that. Got to do a bit because let's just take that like that. I think it's important to keep this player in because it shows that he's obviously either clearing the ball with his header over this over this opposition player. So let's have a look at that. I'm just going to crop that a little bit more. How's that look? Well, do us right. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Obviously, the ball's in play. He's a bit one-sided, bit of space here, but we've got to go with the ball a bit and his opponent opponent. So. Right, let's take these levels down a bit. That's looking better. Uh, let's try the quick action. Yeah, not bad. It's giving a bit of punch out. Let's go into camera raw. Right, we're already at 1 minute 20. Let's take that exposure down a bit. Just a little, not a little. Contrast what it on. Let's take the highlights out of his kit a bit. That'll do, I think. Shadows. Shadows out a bit. Sort of losing his leg a bit here, but I don't know what we'll do if we reduce the whites a bit. Yeah, it's brought him back a bit, hasn't it? Okay, let's have a look at that. Can we give it any sharpness? I don't think. No, I'm not going to. It's a bit. I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm just going to. No, not lens correction, you wally. I don't have to get used to the shortcut really. Shift Command A, didn't I? Uh, let's go into luminance. Come on, bring that in. I just want to look at his luminance on his face a bit. That's okay. Let's 
take that out. What we're looking at colours wise, I think these blues look alright. Referees yeah, yellow looks alright. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, I know it's a bit of it's, it's a tricky one because he's it be it's a, it's a shame the referee stood right behind him because he'd stick he'd stand out lovely. Uh, I'm happy with that. I think that'll do us. Let's get that saved. Two minutes forty-two. Jobs are good. In. Okay, this one was submitted by Mariano Figueroa. Um, man, it's a shame that these guys are cut, but he's jumping so high. There's not much he can do here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do some cheating here on this one um, like Mark does but we'll see right now the exposure seems to be okay so let me just start working on the rest um, the cropping is gonna be the biggest problem in, in in this picture for me at least I think but man look at that look at the, the little drops of water that's cool that's really cool and you got them with the eyes open which is usually like impossible in in this type of photo they like 99 percent of the times the players will have their eyes closed it's just it's just a fact isn't it yeah okay you see clipping a little okay now what are we going to do with that cropping? That's the million dollar question here, isn't it? Vibrance, yeah, a little bit. Saturation as well. Now, let's do um, a la mark, shall we? Just for fun. Come on, laptop, start working. Let's go. Okay, now, I'm probably gonna run out of time, I think. But um, I'm gonna give it a shot, just to see what happens. Okay, so, I'm gonna try to do this really quickly. So forgive me for not talking too much, just focusing on not cutting people off while I cheat like Mark does all the time um, I wouldn't do this to be honest pitch side I would just crop it most likely uh, one by one so a square crop which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing anyway but I just want to see how, if this works at all or not I just want to see that. I don't think content aware is gonna work too well here, but it doesn't hurt to try. I think there's just too many odd shapes and patterns, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, and I think I messed up there on the ref, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Let's just add this. Uh, what else, I can remove that. So. Okay, so now let's go to edit cotton wear fill and now let's start telling Photoshop yes you can try to grab information from here but not anywhere else and I don't think my laptop is gonna like this too much Okay, cool thing here with the selections, you can go really close because it won't go in. And that's fantastic. So I really want to take advantage of that. Let's keep moving. By the way, I'm pressing and holding space to move around the image, in case you don't know. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see. Woo! That's, not, that's actually not too bad. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And it still hasn't done the, the last part, because it's still thinking. You can see here the little circle. But that's pretty good. With the, not taking into account this part, that's not bad at all. Let's, let's look at that. That's not too bad, is it? 
damn. Shall I keep cheating? Let's see if, if I can do it. Ooh, the fans on my on my laptop are going overdrive. Let's see, let's see. No, I don't think it's gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. Good effort though, right? Good effort. Yeah, it's not gonna work. You can tell it's been touched. Nah, it's not gonna work. Because then, you know, I could crop it and just focus on this dude, but no, let's let's not uh let's not do that. Let's go back to Lightroom. Anyway, it's the effort that counts. So yeah, definitely one by one in this case. I don't wanna cut that guy's head off too much. I think I'd go like this. Maybe up the contrast a little bit more. Is the exposure. Yeah, this would be my edit. I tried to cheat, but in the end, it just didn't work. So before and after. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. And I think I went above four minutes, but then again, you know, cheating, that's karma, right? Okay, that cheating didn't go well, so back to you, Mark. Let's crack on with this. This is from Dan Minto. Thanks for sending it in, Dan. Right, cropping. I'm going to take it to there, like that. I'm going to take this player out thing, go for a, a pretty squarish crop. I'm just going to take that in a bit. Let's take that up a bit. I think we'll go with a square crop in this one. Thinking about, you know, papers and bits and bobs. Let's get the horizon set. Laptop's gone a bit slow because we're recording. Right, let's have a look at that. Just going to take it that way a bit. Let's have a look at that. Hmm. I feel like I've got more that side then. Right, let's have a look at the levels. Let's take that down to there for a start. Probably a bit dark, let's just turn the shadows up a bit. That's about right, okay with that. Let's have a look at the old action again, see how we get on. Whoa. That is very punchy. Let's carry on. Let's try and give it a bit of uh, warmth on it. Too much. Right, let's go for a bit of sharpness. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Colours aren't right somehow. No, I don't want no, I don't want no reds. Ooh, I don't know about this. Tricky one, this. It's okay, that. Let's just have a look at the old. Now then, let's see what we can do. Quick, a quick going camera roll. No, that's about it. Exposure. Slightly backlit this image, so it's a little bit tricky. That's probably a little bit better. It's taking a bit of the highlights off. Shadows, no. That's about it. I don't want to lose the play with the ball space a bit. Blacks. I'm gonna have a bit of a mess about with the blacks in a minute. There. Do we need any texture? That's not actually bad at that. Take, I don't want to. I don't mind losing these players' faces, but I want to keep him sharp. And the, taking that texture down has just softened it a bit. It's quite nice. That actually, it's quite nice soft. Obviously, using a bit of contrast is going to bring it back. So we'll leave that like that. Have a look at a bit of vibrance. Let's take it past. Mm, his legs are a bit red at that. Let's take the saturation down a bit. That's not bad at that. Let's have a look at that player's face. Come on. 
three minutes twenty. Crikey, I'm over already. Flipping Nick. Yeah, I'm happy at that. That'll do. Three minutes thirty-two. Job's a good. One. Okay, and this one submitted by Dan Minto. Thank you, Dan. Rugby. Alrighty, Horizon first. And let's go in. Oop, don't want to cut that guy's head off. All right, I'll probably go back to the crop in a little bit. Uh, for now, let's just work on the picture itself. So let's start doing stuff a little bit. Quite a bit of light on this picture. Wonder what type, what uh, time of the day it was. But tons and tons of light. Anyway, I miss rugby. I miss football. I miss all sports, to be honest. The Irish government, they just announced another two weeks before things start going back to normal in phases. There's like four different phases. It's going to take forever. Um, but yeah, we don't. I'm not going to see a pitch. Oh, not that one. Not going to see a pitch anytime soon. So this is the best that we got. And it's keeping me and Mark quite busy, so thank you guys for submitting the pictures. Plus, I'm enjoying this anyway, so I think it works uh, for everyone, I think. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. Let's check the before and after. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with this. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that was a fast one to compensate for the previous one that I took forever and ever. So there you go. That's my final image edit for this image. Football image here from John O'Neill. Thanks for sending this in, John. Right, I'm going to go for a square crop on this. Let's get the horizon set first. Set that horizon. Just going by that backboard. Tricky this one because you've got a ramp at the back. Right, let's have a go at that. That'll do. That's that horizon set. Right, I'm going to go for a square crop on this. Take that into there. I know we've got that Man U flag, but it's leaving a bit of a gap otherwise, so I'm just going to go for a probably more of a that's all right, like that thing. Just take that down a bit. I know we're losing a lot of the frame, but let's have a look at that. That's all right. Let's see what the old action does. No, I'm not happy with that. Let's go back to that crop. That's it, right? Let's. Uh, Bring the colours back a bit, so that's a bit of white. What if it wants a bit of red? A bit of uh, not really. We'll leave that like that and we'll go in for colours. We'll give it a bit of saturation. That's better. Probably give it 20. Uh, yeah, it's going to go for a bit of sharpening. One minute 21. Yeah, that's okay on sharpening. Right. Something's still not quite right. Let's just go for. No. That's about it there. Shift Command A. Got it right that time. <laughs> Exposure. Let's give it a little bit of light. What about contrast? Not too much. Not going to highlight. Let's go straight down to give it a bit of texture, a bit of clarity, give it a bit of punch. Vibrance might need a little bit more. Let's go past. That grass is gone now, let you see. So let's just go back a bit. That's saturation. I don't want to overdo it. I've overdone the images in the past and looked at them and thought, no, that's not right. So 
and look at the texture. Let's go past on the texture, go back on the texture. Quite happy about there actually, minus 10 on the texture. Because it is a little, I've, I've noise, put a bit of noise in. Let's take the clarity down a bit. Let's give that a 5, minus 11 on the texture. Just, I'm just going to go Command Alt Z and go back and go forward. Yeah, that's definitely better. I wonder what we can do with a bit of contrast. Brightness, no, not right. A bit of contrast, no, just a little bit. Right, losing that ball, you see. So that's just, yeah, happy with that. I think. Oh, three minutes ten. We'll leave it at that. Three minutes ten. Three minutes thirteen. Crikey, let's get that saved. Three minutes thirteen on the clock. Okay, and this one was submitted by John O'Neill. Man United versus Sampdoria. Now, crop-wise, a little bit crooked, and I'm afraid I'm gonna have to lose you, Valencia. Sorry, man. You're gone. He's out of Man United anyway, isn't he? Can't remember now. Anyway, this is where the action is. This is where I want to focus. Give it a little bit more room on the left because that's where they're the they're going. So crop-wise, maybe a little bit less. Maybe something like this. A little underexposed for the moment being, so let's start working on that. Okay. Contrasts. We'll go back to it in just a second. Start going to the other highlights, shadows, everything else. Yeah, we already cropped in quite a bit. Um, but yeah, you have to crop. It's just one of those things you just cannot avoid. I've yet to see someone take a picture, a sports picture, without cropping in in when the action is actually happening. You know, not not like a penalty kick or something like that, but an actual picture. It's just something you got to do every single time. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Obviously, it's a little bit noisy, but that's because we we are cropping in quite a bit. Okay, let's go back to the contrast. Today I'm not doing the lens correction, which is interesting. And you know what? It's because I forgot, to be honest. 7D Mark II. Okay, 300. Okay, let's. Yeah, alright, let's try it. Canon. Did you recognize it? No, you did not recognize it. It's most likely because it's a JPEG. This happened on the last episode, and and one of the people commenting on my video say it's because it's a JPEG and not a RAW, and I think he's right. So I am going to remove the profile correction. I'm going to leave chromatic aberration on. Okay, so I think I'm done. Let's check the before and after. Looks good to me. Under three minutes. Yes, let's go. So who's winning guys? Is it Team Lightroom? I hope it is. Right, good cricket in frame. This bit of a test of this one. This is from John Mallet. Thanks for sending this in, John. Right, let's get cropping. How do we do it? It's gonna be a bit of a suck it and see this one because obviously he's appealing. You can't see the batsman that he's appealing to or against, so let's just try this and just, I don't know. I don't know, the horizon's not far off. I'm just going to leave that referee, the umpire in for the moment and just, do you go by the wicket or do you go by the horizon? I've always gone by the wicket in the past, by the, the stumps. Uh, Let's go like that. I mean, that's that looks fairly vertical. Anyway, let's just double click that and see what that looks like. I think it's going to be a bit unbalanced. It's all about the appeal. This image is so. I'm just going to take that batsman out and leave the slip in at the back there. Let's just, let's just have a look at that. That's not bad. I think we need to leave the umpire in and it's centralised 
the bowler now nicely. Let's just take a little bit off here. That's pretty prominent. It's slightly off that is, you know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit. Right, I think that looks quite balanced. I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's try the action. Oh no, it's too much. Right. Front shift A into camera raw. No, we don't want no. First thing that's gonna go is probably his leg here and, and the umpire's shoulder, so we'll leave that like that. How about a bit of contrast? Yeah, that's probably better. Highlights, that's okay at that. Shadows, all right, whites. Go for a bit of clarity, we don't want too much clarity. I put a lot of clarity in that action you see, and I think that's what's putting it off every time. Vibrance, that's not bad, that grass is greening up nicely. Probably a bit too much, let's go 15. Saturation, we don't want too much, his hands are going a bit pink up. I think we'll leave that as is. Let's have a look at that. Let's go for a bit of sharpening. Let's just go in one. Have a look at a bit of sharpening. I know you can sharpen in camera, but I'm in such a bad habit of going into sharpening separately. Let's take that to two. That's not bad at that. Two minutes 50, kiting. I think we can do a little bit more with the contrast. Let's just, oh, three minutes is up. What I am going to do, I'm just going to cheat. I know I've gone over three minutes, but I'm just going to try and dodge his face back in a bit. Just a tad. That's too much because I've got it set at 100%. Let's take it down to 50. Odd. 50. That'll do. Oh, three minutes 30. Five. Right, let's take that five off. Yeah, I'm happy with that, I think. Oh, it's a difficult one. Does it need more punch? Three minutes 46. Oh, I'm undecided on this one. Let's give it three. That'll do. I think that'll do. It's really bright down here. I don't think we can do anything with the burn tool. No, I'm happy with that, that'll do. Four minutes five, crikey. I think you're gonna win on the timings again, I'm guessing, David. Right, four minutes, five seconds for the last one. Crikey. Never mind, right, let's get that saved. Over to you, David. Okay, and the last one by John Mallet, Cricket. Um, gonna have a hard time with a crop, I think. Um, but let's see what happens. Uh, how am I gonna crop this? It's this guy that I wish wasn't here. I really wish he wasn't. But it's not like John can say, hey, whoa, get out of there. Getting a cool picture and you're just ruining it. Um, okay. Maybe you do have a different frame from the same scene where this guy's a bit further away. I don't know. Anyway, let's start working on the picture. So a little bit of contrast here on this one. That's that's a cool reaction. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna go in even a little bit further. Uh, the shadows. I don't want to go too much because we we are already cropped in quite a bit. And I don't want to give noise, unnecessary noise to the picture. Okay. Clarity. A little bit. Not too much though. I think that's about right. Now, vibrance. Okay, too much. Okay, yeah, I'd be happy with this, I think. 
Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I, I only wish that we could have this guy out of here. How, how much time? Two minutes. Okay. Let's give me a second, guys. Come on, PC. Or Mac, in this case. Let's go. Okay. Let's see if I can work some magic. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but it doesn't hurt to try. Just like the other one. Wow, you see the, the chromatic aberration still present there on the fringing there on the on the hat. That little purple thing. Ooh, the fans are going nuts. Not the ones in the stadium, the ones in my MacBook. I'm pretty sure you can hear them. Unless uh, Mark bumps up the music in his video. I'm pretty sure you're gonna hear him. That's okay. Okay, why do I have a double lasso now? I have no idea. But let's just keep going. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see that on the video. Woo! Okay, I messed up. Didn't I? Oh, not too much. Hold on. Let's just add here. Okay, now. Let's see if Photoshop can help me on this one. No, actually not. One second. Where am I? No, I can't do it like this. Need to fill straight away. Come on, Photoshop, help me out. Time's of the essence. Damn it. No. See, this part here is ruining it because I, I, what I wanted to do is just crop it like this. Boom done so no I'm not gonna I'm just gonna keep the crop like this and that's it so for me above four minutes so sorry about that it didn't work but uh, yeah still before and after I think it's okay so that's my final edit for this today's episode thank you so much guys for watching remember to put down the comments on the actual videos um, in case you're watching live Go back to the video and leave a comment on Mark's channel and my own. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. Oh, spot on, enjoyed that again. A few different crops and it just goes to show it's so interesting that the same image can be cropped and, and edited so, so different, you know, so great that. But uh, some good challenging ones there. The cricket one was especially challenging because how much do you crop out, you know? But uh, yeah, jobs are good and So thanks ever so much for watching guys and keep sending your images in and uh, we'll keep doing the episodes. We're running a bit thin now so we could do with some more if, you, if you've got any line about that you, you fancy uh, sending in and then we'll get an episode for them but uh, see how things go. But um, jobs are good and thanks ever so much for watching guys and sticking with it. Hopefully it was a bit shorter than episode two and uh, we'll see what the future brings. Thanks ever so much for watching guys. Take care, see you soon.